Okay, so just a quick semi tutorial. I'm going to show how I take an STL and convert it to a solid. I am by no means a fusion wizard. Uh, you'll probably, if you know anything about fusion, you'll realize that quickly in this video. But this is what I do um, I go to insert, insert mesh. Then I go pick what I want to change to uh, a solid. So I'm going to pick a thing here and open that. And now I've got several options over here. Millimeter, you can change your unit types. I'm, I'm trying to assimilate into the uh, metric system. You can change the direction of the object. I'm not going to mess with any of that. I've not messed with any of these positions. Just haven't needed to. Click OK. Then what we're going to need to do is come up to the mesh uh, menu up here. Prepare. We're going to generate some face groups right here. And it's going to bring up, it's going to ask you which one, what do you, what face groups do you want? I'm going to highlight all of that. Type, you've got two options, fast and accurate. I'm going to go with accurate. And then boundary tolerance, I haven't messed with that any. I haven't needed to change that. Everything I've done has worked fine in um, that setting. Click OK. My laptop's going to take a minute because it's an absolute dinosaur, but a strong dinosaur, it's just slow. Um, we're getting there though, halfway. Come on, you can do it. There we go. So boom. Now we've got um, our faces. You're going to want to come up here to modify. Modify. Convert mesh. Click that. It's going to ask you which body. I'm going to select this whole body. Operation, you got parametric and base feature. I don't know what either one of those do really. I'll just be honest with you. I've always left it in parametric. And then uh, you've got two methods. You've got a prismatic method and a faceted method. If you're a uh, cheapskate non-commercial use type guy like me you're gonna have to go faceted so we'll click OK and you'll see here that now you've got a solid now one of the issues since we don't have we don't pay the money is that these I think if you'd have gone prismatic maybe these you wouldn't have as many facets here on the face I mean they're everywhere so a workaround for that so what I want to do is uh, I want to make this hole, this hole right now is 7.366 millimeters. I want to make it more like 11. Um, I'm going to insert a steel tube in here and it needs to be a little bit bigger. So what I want to do first though is I'm going to, uh, seems to work better, I'm going to go to this back face. I'm go to this face right here and you can still see I've got all these facets. I'm going to pick a big one, highlight that, delete, and if you see now I've got a complete I've got a I've got a face with no facets and you can do that all over the place like if you want to mess with this side select that facet delete and now you've got a face same thing over here delete boom and I don't know how much that changes uh, your 3d print later on I haven't noticed any differences but I haven't messed with any like any of the cur cur the curves any of the curves or anything so I don't know. So that's basically how you mess uh, with that. Now I'm going to show you a trick. This is just something I figured out. What I was trying to do, so I've got this circle, this hole, and I want to make this hole bigger. But I can't get, so if we're going to go uh, sketch, create a sketch, I'm going to sketch on this face. If I want to put, so to make this circle bigger, in my limited abilities on fusion and maybe somebody in the comments can tell me where I'm really messing up but I'm not able to get it doesn't snap to the center right it's not because there's no real nothing's been sketched I guess I'm not sure um, but I can't if I want to make I just have to guess and I mean that was close just and once I draw something it'll kind of it'll snap a little bit but I'm still you can see there's it's it's not the circle that it needs to be. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come over here to create, project, click project. It's going to ask me what geometry I want to select. I want this face right here. Selection filter, I haven't messed with that. Um, bodies, I'm assuming you could select the whole body. Specified entity, I think, would be the entity that you specified. Uh, kind of right there in the name. But So I do that, click OK. And then when that's done, you can see here what it does is it'll give us all these points that create this arc here and this arc here. And then you can see all the points of the circle because a circle is just a bunch of small segments, right? So 
<clears throat> if, excuse me. If you've done any, if you've done any woodworking, you'll know that if you want to find the center of a tree stump, or you want to find the center of a four by four, or if you go to the edges and you make enough crosses, cross lines across, you will get it. Eventually, it'll make a center point. So go up to your line tool. This is what I did, and this is just a this is kind of a sidebar of the original video, but I thought I'd share. I'm going to go to line type, create a construction line because I don't need to create real lines here. And I'm going to go from, I'm just going to start crossing it. Go from there to there, here to there. And if you do this enough, you can see already that we've got a center point. And it looks like we can go from here already. A center point, and it's, it'll snap to it. And then what I did, so it only took me three lines for fusion to be able to say okay this is the center point but you could go to all of these but then i came out to these points and i'm just checking to see if this if this circle is close and you can see that the circle isn't exact but that's the segments again so what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw i'm going to come up here and snap to the edge of this body draw a construction line because i don't want to get outside of the body then i'm going to come back i'll go here and I want this to be, let's call it 11 millimeters. Enter. Now I've got my circle that I can use. I'm going to finish my sketch. And then we'll just extrude it. Extrude. And I'm going to go grab my arrow and I'm going to go back. Way back. Make sure it's cut. And obviously it is. You get the red indication of a cut. Boom cut and now I've got an 11 mil circle there and this STL has been officially remixed so yeah there it is